are sort of there in in uh, in Iran. And uh, what 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 is your view on the situation? And and what are the main things as to why now and how it's changed? Well, thank you very much for inviting me onto the show. And um, um, Anusha Ashouri um, is sixty seven years old. He uh, was an engineer, and he was. Um, arrested and detained, similar to uh, Nazanin, um, uh, approximately five years ago. The, campaign, the family have been campaigning for the last three years, quite ferociously, really, and, um, and have, have been doing an excellent job. Um, and they have joined, they did join their campaign with Richard in the last um, 18 months, let's say. Um, so he's obviously gone through an, an awful situation and ordeal, and he's really, you know, delighted to be um, reunited with his family. So today is really excellent news. It's excellent for the family, and it's excellent that they've all been able to, to come back together. But that does not take away from the five years of, of those days where he's been in prison. He can't get those days back. And obviously, you know, only he will know those experiences that have taken that did take place while he was in prison. And we know that um, when you're held on trumped up charges as being a spy, then you're, you're most likely to be tortured in all sorts of of, of ways. And uh, my heart goes out to him and, and Nazanin for having been uh, incarcerated from their families for that period of time. The government eventually got round to returning the money that was owed to Iran of just under £400 million. And they have agreed to that to go to Iran for humanitarian goods, which is something I've always been campaigning for and advocating for. Um, so I'm really pleased and delighted that is happening. But it is five years too late for Anusha and six years too late for Nazanin. This could have been done much sooner. Yeah, I mean, look, obviously it must be a tremendous day. So it's unimaginable, really, how, how these families must be feeling and the sense of relief and joy, of course, as these people are released. Look, so, some people would say, you know, maybe this would encourage more hostage-taking or, or more people being imprisoned abroad as a result of now knowing that, well, I suppose, we would, we would pay for their release. How do you feel about that? Well, you have to be really clear, all right? This is money that was Iranian money. In the 1970s, they had paid for um, some tanks and, uh, and those had never been delivered. So actually, if anybody's in the wrong here, the British government have been in the wrong, but by not returning that money back to Iran. Now, there were various sanctions in place. There were things that prevented that, sanctions from us and, and other sanctions. Uh, but there was a deal and deals that could have been reached a lot earlier. So this isn't about having hostages and the UK paying for those hostages to be released. This is about co corruption from Iran, obviously, for holding British people that they should never have held. And that is absolutely despicable. But at the end of the day, this is Iranian money that has been returned to them that the government has held on to for far too long. And it's rightly so that this money should be re returned to Iran. But it was always wrong that they had taken and kept British people as hostages. And I'm pleased that they've all been, well, two of them have been returned back and that they're being reunited with their family. And for them, they're happy to be on British soil, to be back with their families, to be united, and they're overjoyed. And I am absolutely delighted for them.